Hello there, my name is Cornelius and I work with the developer experience team here at Flutterwave. Today we're going to be discussing how you can add Flutterwave to your WooCommerce store. This video is going to take you through all the steps involved in the installation of the plugin and its configuration. Before we get started, make sure you have a verified Flutter for Business account and you have admin access to your WooCommerce dashboard. First off, log into your WooCommerce dashboard and navigate to Plugin. In this section, you should find a vast array of different plugins for your WooCommerce store. Type Flutterwave WooCommerce in the search box and select the first option that pops up. This should be labeled the Flutterwave WooCommerce plugin as there are a number of plugins that carry the name Flutterwave but are actually developed by third-party developers. Great. Click on the Install Now button and give it a couple of seconds to get installed. After that, click the Activate button to activate the plugin on your WooCommerce account. Once this is done, Navigate to WooCommerce and select Payments. You should see an option of Installed Payment Plugins on your WooCommerce account. Click on the Flutterwave toggle to enable Flutterwave on your WooCommerce site. After enabling Flutterwave on your WooCommerce store, you should see the plugin settings. Here we are going to configure the settings to give you the best experience. First off, you need your API keys. Head over to your Flutter for Business dashboard to get your API keys for the configuration. Typically, your keys are in the settings section of your FOB dashboard, and you should be able to copy both your test mode keys and your production keys. After adding your keys, you also need to configure webhooks. Webhooks are important because they help you get the final status of the payments when your customer has completed them. Copy the webhook URL generated in the plugin settings and paste it into the webhook settings on your FOB dashboard. You have the option of adding a hash to your settings. A hash is a code that helps us encrypt the webhooks that come back to your application. You can think of them as your password for your webhook responses. After adding your webhook URL and the hash to your FOB account, make sure this matches what you have on your WooCommerce dashboard. Double check your settings and save changes. Great, we can now test our installation. To do this, we're going to set up a sample page and host a simple product to demo this process. I have a test page ready with a sample product. I'm going to add it to my cart and then check out from my cart. As you can see here, the item is priced at a demo amount. Feel free to change this amount in your test and then click on checkout. On checking out, you should see a form where your customers are required to fill in personal and billing information. After filling these details, click on Proceed to Flutterwave to complete the payment. Clicking this button opens our Flutterwave modal where you can complete the payment with any of our supported payment methods. For this test, I am going to use the test cards to complete the payment. After providing all the required information, the transaction is completed successfully and I'm able to verify my integration for my WooCommerce store. What's next? After successfully completing these test payments, we are ready to take our integration live. To do this, we're going to go back to the WooCommerce settings. When we get there, look for the checkbox that says live mode. Take this checkbox and save the changes. With these updates to your configuration, you are sure to start collecting live payments from your customers. 
We're going to link a couple of resources in the description to help you test and configure your plugin properly. Please join our developer community on Slack to get more information on how to properly install, configure, and add Flutterwave to your different websites and applications. Until next time, thank you.